Okay, I'm just going to make a short video um, describing what my teachers, my guides have taught me about what a human being is, what we're doing here, and um, why did we want to come here and do that. So first and foremost, we are energy. Everything in the cosmos is energy. It's vibration. It is frequency. And we have existed forever. We will exist forever because energy can never die. So with understanding that um, we are energy, we are sons and daughters of God, we are eternal beings of light. Why are we here? <laughs> Sounds like we had it pretty good. But we always want to continue learning. We love learning and we love exploration. Um, and that's, that's what we're doing here. So before we came here, we created a hologram. And we didn't just create this hologram by ourselves. We had a lot of help creating this hologram for our lives here. We put in this hologram so many things we wanted to learn and understand about living here on Earth. Things that would take us and give us uh, joy for eternities. So we make this plan, this hologram. We come to Earth. And Earth itself and everyone on it, there's a whole hologram going there. So we have our hologram, which we had complete freedom. We were absolutely free to put in this hologram whatever we wanted to learn. And I'm sure some of our guides were like, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> Maybe you should take a few things out. And maybe we did. Some of us might be feeling, no, we didn't. We left it there. We were just all that. We just thought we could do all this. So anyway, so we make these plans of things we want to learn about. We want to gain more compassion. And one of the biggest things we want to gain is empathy. And you cannot gain empathy unless you've experienced something yourself. Now, all these feelings um, go back to, to uh, mother and father. Everything we learn, all the light we gather, it goes back to source. And in this way, we are all learning and gathering um, intelligences and we're gathering experiences and everything we're doing creates more light. And in that way, universes are formed by this light. So let's bring it down a little. Let's just go to Earth right now. <laughs> wow. So you and I decided, I know, I want to create a hologram where I go down at the end of the age of a dispensation and the beginning of another one. That sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of stuff I could learn from that. And we are learning a lot. But it's not always easy. There's so much fear being pushed right now. There is so much anger, uh, violence, all these negative things that we are being exposed to. It's a good idea to cut down some of that exposure, you know. Um, it's not good to just bathe in this stuff every single day. It's good to take a break from things. And it's good to understand what we can do on a day-to-day -day basis that will help us uh, have a more peaceful existence here. So understanding that we are energetic beings and our beautiful earth is an energetic being 
And as we live on this planet, you know, we, there, there's more to what is happening than we can see. For instance, our planet has many uh, bands of frequency. And it's kind of like, um, you know, how you turn, tune into a radio station. You know, one is at this frequency, another one is over here, but they're going, they're all over the place all the time. We're walking through them all the time. Well, we're doing that also with, um, with other frequency bands. And for us, as we're walking through these different ones daily, we don't even know we're doing it. But let me give you an example. Let's say you are having a good day. Uh, but again, let's try this again. So you're getting things done. You are happy. You're feeling lighthearted. And then someone comes home. And that someone is not feeling how you're feeling. They're feeling pretty grumpy, had a bad day, something happened. So what can happen to us is that we, our frequency level from where we were, that frequency band we were existing in, all of a sudden we're feeling different. So what's happened is we have dropped down into the frequency band with our loved one. And now we're feeling grumpy and out of sorts and not really, you know, and then we want to blame them and Why'd you have to come home like that? I was having such a good day, whatever. So, this isn't always a bad thing when this happens. Because in each of these frequency bands, let's just look at them as a, as a hallway. So, on either side of this hallway, there are doors. And inside of these doors are experiences we have that match that frequency band. So, you come down into a lower frequency band and now you are experiencing feelings of unease and what you do without even knowing it you open one of those doors and what's behind that door is a situation that happened to you that matches this frequency band so if you're aware this can happen now you can have a notebook somewhere where then you can write down what came up when you, you know, when you went to that frequency band. And later on, you can do some EFT tapping, which I made a video, um, and that will be out also, so you can go ahead and tap along with me with that. And you can get rid of one by one what's behind all of these doors. Okay. So that's one reason, one way you can use the lower frequency bands. Okay, so another thing you can do if you don't want to stay in that hallway with your loved one, go somewhere by yourself and think of 10 things you're grateful for. Gratitude is incredibly powerful to pull us back up into a higher frequency. So, you know, sometimes you got kids, you just got to go in the bathroom and shut the door. You know, everybody leave me alone a minute and just go in there and think of 10 things you are really grateful for. And these don't have to be big things. These can be, you know, I am grateful I got that new shower curtain. I am, I am grateful, you know, I have a pretty skirt on or whatever it is. Just 10 simple things you're grateful for. Take a few deep breaths in there. Come back out and you'll realize that you've come up. If you have not come up, do it again. So this can really help us with everything that's going on right now in our world. To understand we are energy. To understand we walk through these frequency bands every day and it's seamless. We don't even know we're doing it. But we have some power within us to change the band we are existing in, okay? Um, there was something else. Oh, so when we do 
let's say this doesn't really have to do with another person, but you all of a sudden are feeling very sad about something or angry or, you know, you can feel this heavy energy. A lot of times what those are, are signs. So let's say you're going down your little road of life on your hologram and a sign pops up of pain. And you're trying to figure out why did that just happen? Well, pain, that sign of pain tells you something's not right. And again, try to figure it out. Write down what comes to your mind right then. What am I being sad about? What can I feel? What was I just thinking of when I had that sad feeling? And, you know, you can write it down or just go somewhere if you have a chance right then. Do some EFT. Get rid of it. But signs uh, of pain, um, sadness, you know, anger, these are all actually gifts to us telling us something's wrong. It's just like, you know, if you go to touch a hot pan and as a child you learn that really hurts and that's your sign, don't do this anymore, <laughs> this is painful. So these emotions that come up, though they feel negative, are useful for us. They tell us something's not right, something's bothering us. That means we have something to learn here. So we can take our learning from it and move on. And again, um, These aren't very easy days we're going through, but if we can understand the truth of who and what we are, and we can understand that everyone's bringing in a different frequency, you know, as they come into our, uh, as they come into our lives, as they're walking around us even, they have their own frequency going on and we're either going to match with it or we're going to keep ourselves in a higher uh, frequency band. So knowing this does help us take more control of what's going on right now. If you are watching too much of the fear that is being pushed, that's going to trigger you into other things that have caused you to feel fear you can recognize it and say, oh, you know, that just really dropped my frequency. I'm in a different band altogether right now. And you can do something to change it. Knowing that we are energetic beings like this gives us the power to take more control of our lives. We need to be careful of how much we are watching and listening to right now, um, getting outside, grounding, is very very helpful eating clean food drinking clean water all these things will help us get through these times that we're going through and when we get on the other side of it it's going to be amazing so take control of your emotions take control of the energies that are around you do what you can to release what you can and it really does and will make a difference in your life and my life and in everyone's life. I hope this helps you and I hope we can all be there for each other right now and help each other.